plus is the uh, safety and automation play uh, for trucks. And uh, these systems get a lot of, of mileage, ching, uh, when we're talking about cars, but very infrequently are people talking about trucks. And Dan, as you know well, coming from a family of, uh, of truckers, truck owning uh, people, uh, the the amount of insurance and the amount of danger uh, is high when you have a big rig coming down um, coming down the highway. Now, step stepping back, the uh, trucks have a lot more safety uh, uh, features in them than cars today, for for obvious reasons. But um, as we get into this new generation of trucks, which I think can be defined by advanced safety systems and also uh, electrification, this is where Plus and Nikola come together. So Nikola announced that it's the first company equipping um, their trucks with Plus's Plus Drive, which uh, you and I got a, a great demonstration of when we were out visiting the company and talking with uh, CEO uh, uh, David Liu. A little bit of backstory on um, on the uh, Plus Drive. Really, you know, look at that as as technology that uses AI um, and automation to make the driver of the truck more like a pilot. This is not fully autonomous at this point, but when it comes to things like uh, lane change, predictive braking. Uh, uh, steering and you know which lane to be in to optimize for safety and fuel fuel economy and also electric fuel economy when it comes to uh, these trucks from from uh, Nikola. So uh, Nikola is going to use the Plus Drive for its Tray battery electric vehicles, another acronym that we've brought uh, in here, BEV, and its hydrogen electric vehicles in the U.S. and they are going to be available at the end of 2024. Uh, this Nikola system gets uh, 330 miles uh, charging time of 90 minutes with a 300 kilowatt uh, performing uh, charger. It's great to see the future of technology and these two companies, uh, Nikola and Plus are absolutely bringing it to the table. Yeah, so, you know, Pat, I, I thought that the whole uh, announcement is really interesting. Of course, Nikola has had a bit of a interesting run. Um, yeah. You know, this is the company that, uh, you know, was allegedly rolling a truck downhill. And so, you know, it's one of those things where I believe that the market has been unscrupulous in many ways and has been incredibly uh, uh, difficult in how it's treated companies in phases of, of rolling out this tech. But it's just been an interesting storied history here. Yeah. Now, I believe long term that Nikola, first of all, has some really great designs, has some very interesting technology. And more importantly, plus you and I have had the chance to actually spend time in their, uh, you know, in their vehicle uh, with a driver, experiencing L2 plus, seeing the truck work on the highway, and seeing that you know the investment being made is going to carry forward a really important industry. Now, you mentioned my history as a family of trucking. My father always said to me, uh, "We're one lawsuit away from being broke." And in the trucking industry, it is really this is these are large machines. Uh, this is a highly skilled job. It's a job that's often in short supply. Uh, we saw it during the pandemic. And of course, we're seeing adjustments in the labor supply market right now. But uh, you couldn't get drivers. And this was yeah. something that went on. And so we're not looking at L4 yet at this point. But we are looking at next generation L2 plus that's going to enable drivers to work more safely and deal with more complexity. And so the partnership's important. But the technology, in my view, is even more important. We need the company to continue to build technology that doesn't only end up in Nikola, but ends up in the vast majority of semis to yeah. make sure that drivers can balance the work, safety, the profile, the, the uh, roads. You know, we all know infrastructure in this country lags. And so 
in the U.S., it's going to be very critical. And of course, uh, Plus has a big role to play in China. And of course, the volume of, of transit and of goods and services being moved around China is going to be even higher and more voluminous. And by the way, the infrastructure is better, in, largely. Um, and so the ability, especially between large cities, to have autonomous or fully autonomous in the future is going to be something I could see uh, coming even sooner in that part of the world. So partnerships important, the technology is important, the safety profile, I think that's a theme. We mentioned it with Luminar, we're gonna mention it here with Plus. Uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy to see it. I'm looking forward to seeing more companies glom on to Plus and what the company is providing technology-wise. All right, I'm gonna- two, uh, two pretty exciting, two very exciting um, automotive technology companies is fun yeah you know it is fun pat and, and, and the interesting thing about it all is uh you know um you know we talk a lot about big tech it's good to see disruptive companies breaking into important markets and both yeah. of these companies i think are companies to watch heading into the future